2009 Infiniti FX50. You might start your vehicle one day and then see something like this. Let's move to the center screen. Give it a few seconds to build up and there you go. Maintenance due for reminder four. Let me turn off the cool seat because it's pretty loud. There you go. And this is as low as can be. Great. Okay, if I wait long enough, that will go away, but I think most people just go ahead and turn it off here, or you could push enter here. Either way, it works the same way to make it disappear. And that is a uh, one of the maintenance reminders, one of the options that they give you to remind you whatever it is you want to you want it to remind you as you can see mine's just called reminder four it doesn't really tell you what it is i was doing the math and that is my reminder for uh, to check the oil usually in okay so let's go to that screen i'll show you how to get to it info maintenance so I've got reminder one, two, three, four. And just by experience from other Infinity vehicles, this is usually oil, filter, tire, other. And then other, I use that for my reminder to check the oil. With other vehicles, I do that quite diligently, honestly, about every week or even more frequently, I check all my oil levels. But I usually set a reminder to 1,000 miles that at minimum, I have to make sure that I check my oil. With the Infiniti FX50, it does not consume oil as badly as other Infiniti V8 products I've had. So with this one, I actually just go for 1,500 miles. So here you can see, oh yeah, let's go for reminder three, whatever. I think this is my tire, I already replaced my tires. So what I need to do is come here. You can see that the reminder is off, right? In that it doesn't really remind me anything. But, look at that orange bar. It says I've exceeded whatever my set point was going to be. Reset the distance, do you see it all cleared up? As I said, oil and oil filter, usually the same. I have an oil reminder at 3000, oil filter at 3000. Although I don't think the oil filter will come on. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, go back, reminder four here. 1500 miles right and i've done I'll, I'll check my oil i already checked it this morning but what i'm going to do is turn off the interval reminder did you see that it turned white or rather light gray instead of dark gray and at this point what happens is that when i turn off my vehicle and start it again i will not get that reminder on the screen it's not you know because that was kind of a horrible test for it really let's turn it off open the door <laughs> then do this again although it's kind of useless because as i said it's not going to come on at this point because i turned the reminder off but what i could do or what i should do is info maintenance you'll realize i've not changed the counter at all i'm still at it's supposed to come on at 1500 miles and I've done something like 1530. I can just turn this on over here and leave it there. Okay, let's turn it off. So sometimes what happens is you take, you get a reminder, you go to the shop, they change your oil, but then you get in your vehicle and it still comes on, you know, like this, for example. It should come on again should there you go the reminder is still on right and it does tell you what to do push info and select maintenance to change this setting but I think most times the warning just pops out a little more than the instructions so people usually say well what do I do I don't blame anyone for not seeing that honestly so I can do this go to reminder four I'll leave the reminder on I'll leave the interval to be 1500 although you could change look see that moves around all right i like 1500 for this vehicle i'll leave it there but what i'm going to do is reset that distance there you go and then, why do i not have an oil change reminder it, it is on i guess it's i'm sorry i misspoke it's just about which one is active at the moment right so that's on reminder two is on reminder three is not on 
I guess the difference is when you look at them with this, when you're off the menu, the, the ones that are on are bright white, the other one is gray. That's, but it does count. You'll see, since I reset it today, it will start counting again. Okay, that is the main maintenance reminder screen. And the, you, this, this is long enough for you to watch the video to understand what to do with yours. But there is yet another one in here. And this one here is operated by this. Sometimes, most times this one is usually off, but I'm just pushing this button again. Range, outside temperature. There you go, so maintenance, do you see that down there? You use this other button over here, this button to move down. I'm going for maintenance. Then push this other one for okay. You also have reminders for engine oil, oil filter, tire, and other. It's redundant, honestly, I mean, it's, if if you wanted to you could it's one of those that most people don't really expect and sometimes when people come online asking for help this is the one that is a nuisance and it's a little harder to get to because you can actually you can't access this uh, this menu when you're driving well this one you can but here you can change the setting so i'm going down using this lower button setting Oh, shoot, I went to back. It's kind of goofy. As I said, it's not very easy to work with. Oil filter. Here, you can... What's the setting here? Uh, enter. <laughs> okay, how many miles? See, this is up. All right. And then it lets you know how many miles you've covered depending on what you've got. Box is the top one here. You can see it, then the, the dot is this one here. It's it's not very intuitive to use, honestly. You can do this and set it using the box, okay? So right now it says I'm at zero of, of 3,000, but what I'd like to do is actually go and set. Isn't there a way to go to zero with this? <laughs> I thought that was a way. Um, oil filter. Reset setting. Oh, unless you go up all the way until zero again. I can't remember that part. Oh man, it's crazy how far. Oh, there you go. I had it. I had it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just hold it down. It jumps in 500s. So get to 15,000 and then start going slow. 15. 16. 16. There you go. Okay, then I'm going to push the top button to say, yep, that's exactly what I want. I do not want any reminders on here. I believe the newer ones actually allow you to say, no, I do not want a reminder, instead of going through all these many options. Then the box is for back again. And as I said, you can do this for anything you want. This is the one that usually baffles people sometimes. You know, you're driving and then you just get this reminder on other what in the world is other or sometimes your technician uh, resets the reminder here but then not on the screen you know uh want to go back oh oh no you know what i'm going to chicken out of this <laughs> i wasn't gonna run through eighteen thousand again okay good 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 maintenance let's look at other again <laughs> other oh yeah there you go I'll push this to go back perfect so let me show you what I was saying earlier is that go back to status here when I start driving I could go to info I'm moving 
I'm moving slightly, you know, maintenance. I can do all that. But then here, if I do this, it's pretty much, well, I'm blocking it, am I not? Again, this is not very fast, not at all. Okay, go down to maintenance. See, it says setting can only be operated when stopped. There you go. So I cannot do that, but this other one here, I can play with it all day. Well, I can access it. I can't really make any changes. I can just see what's there. This one here does not even allow you to get in. Okay, I think this is quite a lot of detail with regards to those two settings and I think it's enough video for today, isn't it? Okay, let me go back home now.